Good morning, everyone. Um, so I'm Andy. I'm a Qualification Development Manager for Active IQ. So we're the leading um, awarding organisation in the physical activity sector. Um, and one of our qualifications is mental health awareness. So do say hello and we've got a stand outside. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about mental health, stigma and discrimination <coughs> in the workplace. So I'm going to talk quite generally about stigma and discrimination but a lot of it can apply to the workplace. So I'm going to particularly focus on kind of a workplace culture that might be stigmatising, the language used, so it might be kind of casual language that may make someone with a mental health problem feel further stigmatised, feel devalued. Okay, um, so that can lead to fear in the workplace, not wanting to talk about mental health problems. So what I'd like to do when I'm going through various parts of the presentation, think if you had a mental health problem, or if you do have a mental health problem, or one of your colleagues does, how would you feel in these circumstances? Would it make you want to approach your line manager about a mental health problem? Yeah, and then hopefully at the end, I'll talk about some practical ways in which you can reduce stigma in your workplace. Okay, so hopefully our video will work. So this is just to set the scene a little bit. During every match of the World Cup, 80 men around the world will take their own lives. 80 minutes. During every match of the World Cup, 80 men around the world will take their own lives. 80 minutes. 80 men. 40 men will kill themselves in the first half. And the same man will die by suicide in the second half. By the final whistle, 80 males will have chosen to end it all. A major reason for this is that us men don't always talk about the tough stuff. So this half time, don't open social media, don't go to the bar you're on, talk to your mate for the full 15 minutes. <laughs> this half time, be a man of more words. So not wanting to be too dramatic about it, and you know, that's pretty powerful stuff. Um, and it could be that somebody in your workplace doesn't know who to talk to. So family, friends, they don't know, don't have someone to talk to. But it could be a colleague who, you know, potentially could save their life. Um, in this country, um, suicides have increased again this year. So it's about six and a half thousand. 75% of them are men. So the reason someone has a mental health problem is quite complex. You know, it could be a biological reason, it could be trauma. But in terms of helping someone, talking about it is probably you know, one of the biggest ways to, to overcome the problem and, and save someone's life potentially. So just kind of bear that in mind. You could be saving someone's life. So where does stigma come from? So. The media certainly doesn't help. It didn't take me long to find some headlines which are stigmatising, that are making people with mental health problems seen as inferior. So the madman in the cockpit, um, so the, the German pilot who, who crashed his plane killing hundreds of people, happened to have depression. But is it necessary to use the word madman? Is it necessary to use terms like schizophrenic, <coughs> bonkers? Well, the term schizophrenic, that is, is it necessary? I don't know. So the madman in the cockpit, do people with depression, are they able to carry out jobs like this, high pressure roles? If you were someone with depression, you read this story, would you want to tell your manager that you had depression? Possibly not. Um, 1,200 killed by mental patients. Sensational headline. 
doesn't quite explain the, uh, the nature of the story. It was over a 10 year period. It was due to lack of support within the health system. But looking at those headlines, it's not good, is it? None of those stories are particularly um, positive about mental health. So one research study found that when reporting on mental health, 50% of the stories were negative using language like that. It doesn't encourage people to talk about their problems. And it could be in your workplace, there's a, a newspaper on the desk with a headline like that, might be your fault, but they kind of think, oh, I'm not going to talk about my mental health today because of that. Images. Often when there's a story about mental health, you'll see an image like that. 